Hi everyone, and welcome to a quick overview of MicroFocus Filer. Almost all organizations deal with files, so much so that some organizations have built up terabytes or even petabytes of files back in their data centers. The challenge for employees is that those files are sitting at the corporation's data centers, meaning inside of their firewalls. So for employees to be able to access and work on those files, they need to be sitting at the office at their cubicle. Employees are looking for something else. With all of today's technology, including smart devices, laptops, and so on, they want more flexibility in different ways to access that data. MicroFocus Filer gives them the ability to access every file in their data center from a smart device in the palm of their hands, no matter where they are. Not only will Filer make it easy for you to access your files, no matter where you are and from any device, but Filer will also let you share your files, assuming your IT policies allow it. You can share files both with internal and external users. You can restrict users' rights to being view only or allowing them to edit and contribute files. And additionally, you can also set expiry dates so that those files are no longer accessible once the desired date passes. At this point, you might be pretty impressed. You might be thinking, wow, how does MicroFocus Filer achieve that? So let's take a look at a user scenario. Here we have a user called Amanda Cox. She works for a company called Digital Airlines. It's early in the morning and she wants to get a couple of things done before she heads out on the road. Amanda has logged into the network and as you can see has access to several network shares. She has her home directory, a marketing share, sales, as well as training. What she cares about right now, however, is a file in her home directory. Amanda is planning a birthday party for a colleague of hers named Adam. She adds a couple of things to the list that she's thought of and then saves it back to the network. Now it's time to get out on the road. Our user Amanda is now on site with a prospective customer, ABC Travel. She's pulled out her laptop and is fortunately running the Filer Files On Demand client. This client not only synchronizes certain files to her local computer, but also gives her access to everything else that is sitting back at the office inside of the data center. The files that you see here in the My Files area are the ones from her home directory. As you can see, there's Adam's birthday party. The fact that they have the green emblem on it indicates that they have been downloaded and are synchronized to the local laptop computer. When we go to expand the Net Folders area, we can see all of the other network shares that Amanda had while she was at the office. Sales, marketing, training, and so on. Amanda is ready to do her presentation. While Filer shows her all the files that are available to her back at the office, all she has to do is double click on it and Filer will automatically download the selected file and cache it locally for her to use. With a copy of the file locally, Amanda's presentation is a huge success. Now that Amanda has finished her presentation, you'll notice that the file has a green emblem on it like her My Files files that she forced the synchronization of earlier. This means the files are all stored locally. She can make changes to these files and all of those changes will be automatically synchronized back up to the server. In the meantime though, the client has asked for a copy of the presentation. No problem, all Amanda has to do is right click on the file and select share from the filer menu. This brings up the sharing dialog and Amanda types in Frank's email address. The access rights that Filer supports are viewer, editor, or contributor if it was a folder. Contributor means someone can actually add files to the folder in addition to editing the files that are already there. Amanda doesn't want Frank to edit this file, so she'll leave it as view. She then changes the expiry to be 60 days. There's no need for Frank to have access to this file beyond that. From Frank's perspective, this file will simply disappear, even though it is still securely stored on the data center server back at Amanda's head office. Lastly, a short note that will be included along with the link in the email that is sent to Frank, and then it's saved to go ahead and save this share. Amanda finally has a chance to have a well-deserved lunch after her presentation that morning. While she is sitting there, she receives a text message from her friend Julie asking if she can help organize Adam's birthday party. That's perfect. Amanda would welcome the help. Fortunately, she has Filer on her mobile device and is able to share her checklist with her friend Julie. You'll notice that the interface to Filer on the mobile app is the same as it was on her laptop with the Files On Demand client. 
My Files is our home directory where all of our personal files are stored. Net folders are all the network shares that she has access to. The file that she needs right now is in her My Files. She clicks on My Files and opens up the Adam's Birthday Party checklist that she created earlier this morning. She accesses the share menu and shares the file with her friend Julie. She gives Julie editor rights since Julie may want to contribute and update the file as well. Additionally, since Adam's birthday is just around the corner, she sets the expiry date to 30 days from now. Next, she adds a quick note to this share thanking Julie for her assistance. Given how busy she is, any help is greatly appreciated at this point in time. She also assigns Julie the ability to share that file with other users as well. If Julie is able to recruit more people to organize this party, all the better. With that, it's just a matter of saving this so that Julie gets notified and the share takes place. It's now later that day and Amanda is at home. She receives a text message from her manager indicating that he would like to use her experience that day as an example in the upcoming annual report. He asks her to download the template from the server at the office and to insert a short paragraph detailing her experience. From her home computer, Amanda opens her browser and logs into Filer. Here again, you can see the Filer experience. My Files is her home directory. Net folders are the network shares that she has access to. And a couple of other things like shared with me are the files that other people have shared with her and shared by me are the files that she's shared with other people. Amanda accesses the sales net folder to retrieve the template that she's been asked to complete. To make sure it's the right file, Amanda uses Filer's built-in conversion utility to render the file as HTML. She looks at the template and determines that it is indeed the correct one that she is intended to update. So then she proceeds to download the file and make the changes. When Amanda has finished editing the file, she can simply save it and drag and drop it back into the browser to automatically upload it back to the server so that her manager can retrieve the updated version. Hopefully you've seen how having MicroFocus Filer on your mobile device, on your laptop, or available to you via a browser can help you access those files securely stored away on your data center. Additionally, if your IT policies allow it, you can also easily share those files with other users both inside your organization as well as outside your organization. MicroFocus Filer gives you the power to access your data center files no matter where you are. Mm -hmm.